Good morning, afternoon, or evening, gardeners. I'm Peter from Planter here, and today in this video, we're going to talk about how to create custom plants and custom varieties. All right, let's get to it. All right, here I am in the Mac OS app. This um, also works in the web browser, on your phone, on your tablet, anywhere. It will just look a little bit bigger here. I'm doing it on the web app because it's easier to type. So here we go. So to create a custom plant, go to the plant screen, um, and then you'll see a lot of plants. The first thing you want to do is search. Make sure it's not already in the list. So let's, uh, let's add, oh. So I'm searching for zucchini. Zucchini is already actually listed as a variety of squash. So no need to add it. But let's say I'm going to add, um, let's see, let's click fruits. I don't see pineapple. Maybe I'm growing pineapple. I actually probably can't in my region. Maybe if I grow it inside, but I click the add plant button down there. I'm gonna type in all the information um, uh, that I that I know about pineapple. Um, it's a it's a fruit, so I'm gonna add the category for fruit. So in here I've got the name, the description, the category. It's all very self-explanatory um, icons. So you can select one of the existing icons. This is the, the suggested icon that we have. You can upload. Uh, one of your own icons. You can search on the web for an icon. This actually just pulls up a Google image search so that you can find an icon if you don't already have one or if we don't have one. So I'm just going to click the pineapple icon here. Um, and then you can add an image. Um, let's do a search on web. And here's a nice image. Um, I don't know if you can actually see this. So I'm just going to save this image, and, and then I choose from device, and I also don't know if you can see this here, so we're just going to click this. All right, there, I've got my pineapple image. Um, and then you have all the information for how to grow it. Um, you can adjust the spacing, so the default spacing is one plant per square foot. Um, you might want to increase this to, I don't know, pineapples might need bigger space here, you know? They look pretty big. I, truth be told, I know nothing about growing pineapples. Um, you can change the planting depth, the water, everything that you see in the plant list you can change. So you can also set the times to start. Um, so you can select a range. Let's say maybe you start it in the month of March. Okay, so I'm going to click Save. Um, and then now, when we go, um, let's keep going down, go over some of these things. Um, if it has a particular companion, you might want to say, oh yeah, it's got a companion. Let's say um, it, it depletes nutrients. It does look like, I don't know, again, I don't know anything about pineapple. Um, you can um, select if it causes it. So let's say that's pineapple. Yep, pineapple depletes nutrients. It looks like a very hungry type of plant. And you can add that. Um, you got to select a plant first. Um, so let's say don't plant pineapple right next to lemon. Sure, why not? Just making all this up. Um, you can select pests that affect it. Diseases. To do that, just tap the little um, pencil icon next to it. Um, and then you can fill in how to grow it from seed, what considerations to take when planting it, what type of fertilizer, how to harvest it, storage. All these things are optional. The only required um, field is the name. You can leave everything else blank and it'll just, it'll work. So let's click save. All right, so there's our plant that we just created. Um, and yes, as you, <laughs> Yeah, I would not really, you know, 
use this to grow because I don't know anything. I need to do some more research. But all right, so now if we want to add a custom variety, the easiest way to do that is going into the plant. And I've got these um, purple de milpa tomatillos that I want to add. I just got them from Siskiyou Seeds. Um, so I, there we go, tomatillos. I'm going to click on tomatillos. I'm going to click on varieties. And as usual, I want to search, um, see if there's one in the list, but there's not. So I'm going to add it myself. So here we go. Put in Milpa, and I actually pulled up the page from Cisco Seeds. So I'm just going to copy and paste a lot of this stuff um, so that I have it always with me when I need it. I'm going to copy that, put it in the description field, and I'm going to go back to the image. I'm going to um, save the image. All right. I'm going to go back into Planter Windows. All right. So now that I'm in Planter, um, I don't think we have a purple um, tomatillo icon. So I'm just going to leave that as is. Um, going to upload that image that I just got. All right, so that's you can see a little check mark there next to the cloud. So that's there. Um, it's going to add to my favorites. Um, short description or description, uh, not really. You know, you don't need both of them. You can just do one. The category is a field. We currently don't use it, um, but in the future we're going to use it for. Um, hot peppers, sweet peppers, those types of categories. Um, so it, feel free to enter in your category. And um, it, it does show up, but we don't use it for the default variety. So I'm going to click Save. All right, and there is my variety. So now um, it's already favorited. I can actually add it to my seed box. I'm just going to do that right now real quick. I just bought it. It's a full packet. I got it from... Siskiyou Seeds, and I'm going to save that. It's a good time to add it to your seed box. And we have another video coming out about what the seed box is. It's basically a way to keep track of your seeds. Um, so yeah, so that's how to create um, a custom plant and a custom variety in Planter. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.